If you're a homeowner in the greater Moncton area or planning on becoming one and want to stay up to date on the real estate market, then you are in the right place. I'm going to share the most recent real estate trends from December of 2023. Make sure you stick around to the end of this video for more opportunities, whether you are thinking of buying or let's look at inventory supply and what this means. In December, there was 4.3 months of supply, which has moved us into a stable market. What this is telling us is how many months it would take for all the homes currently on the market to sell if no new homes were listed. Less than four months of supply means there's not a lot of inventory available, which can drive the prices up. Four to six months of inventory indicates a more balanced market, and more than six months means there's a lot of properties available for the buyers, which can drive prices down. As this is the last month of 2023, when activity is generally slow, we will have to watch closely to see what happens to the inventory supply going into the winter months of 2024. When listings are are generally lower and see if it keeps us in a stable market as we are just tipping the scale slightly into the stable market based on the December stats. December's average sales price in the greater Moncton area was at $314,649. Keep in mind that this is the average across all areas and all types of homes. They range from an average price of between $330,000 to $336,000 for a single family and semi-detached home to around $330,000 thousand for a townhouse. The average price is up 12.8% versus the same time last year and down 2% from last month. When looking at the average sales price and why lower this month from last month, there are less homes that were sold in the month of December in the higher price range. Moving along, the overall sale to list price ratio was 96.5% in December. This simply tells us that properties were selling on average at 96.5% of the list price. This gave buyers more more negotiation power on price. There is a drop of 1.5% from the previous month, but is up 1% from December of 2022, but year to date is down 3% overall. Now, when you're looking at this, you have to keep in mind that this has a lot to do with the strategy a seller and their realtor use when listing the property and the changing market we are seeing compared to even just a few months ago. Price accordingly is of the utmost importance. Another popular question is how long is it taking a property to sell. On average for December, it was taking 32 days. This is down only one day from the previous month, which was at 33 days, but is down 15 days from December of last year. Again, it comes down to if you have your property priced right, the chances are it's going to sell quickly. Okay, if you're thinking about buying real estate in the near future, you may be asked what's going on with the interest rate. Currently, mortgage rates are ranging between 5.24% for a five-year fixed to 6 0.3 for a variable. You should always consult with your mortgage broker to ensure you are getting the best rate for your situation. So in summary, when you're looking at the December market statistics, we have just moved slightly into a stable market, but this could quickly slide back into a seller's market. I personally think over the next few months, we will be seeing low inventory as we move into the winter month, which will more than likely be putting us back into that seller's market going into 2024. Pricing your property accordingly still remains to be the number one factor to ensure you get the best sales price in the least amount of time. As when a property sits too long, buyers begin to question why. We saw 165 new residential listings and 170 sales in December, finishing the month with 727 active listings. Both sales and new listings were up compared to December of 2022. The Bank of Canada held on to the interest rate and the fixed rate continued to drop. It's important to do your own research and work Work with a professional to make the best decision for your situation. So the bottom line is whether you are buying or selling, your personal situation is unique to you and you should not rely on the general overall market update. If you want a more accurate market update for your home or your general area, you can request a free no obligation market evaluation or book a call with me to have a no pressure conversation about your options. I will always be honest and upfront with you allowing you to make the best decision that's right for you. You can click on the description box below and scroll down for all my contact information. Feel free to stay around and look at some of my other videos and I'll be back next month with a market update report. Remember to hit subscribe so you do not miss out on any future updates.